Hey yo, Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I have a list of things to do today, and I will hopefully maybe remember, and by hopefully maybe I mean 100% sure will be remember, will remember, sorry, to put up the different fencing for the animals because I have it on my list, and I can see it. I can see it right there. I can't miss it, and we have a diamond to sell today, you guys. So that's actually pretty exciting because I've been waiting for those diamonds. The diamonds give me... A good amount of money and that's what I like I like the monies the monies really help out so I feel like I had plans set in our last episode to actually do something maybe it was to actually set up the fencing I can't remember 100% but we do have this amphibian fossil here to bring to Gunther so I have to do that and I was thinking that we also need a rabbit foot for one of the bundles so we also need to upgrade not just the barn but the coop so we need more wood for that but anyway weather port for tomorrow it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay, good. Rain tomorrow means that 100% we can get to the Mariner. I think we probably couldn't get to him before because it was not just rain, but also rain and thunder. So maybe all we needed was just a rainy day. So tomorrow we'll go to the Mariner and buy the Mermaid's Pendant. Spears are somewhat annoyed today. That's fine because we have a lot to do and none of it involves really going to the mines. Right door. Right door. I see my little Thor over there. He's a cutie. Let me just go over there. Can I? Yeah. Let me go over there and pet the little- Oh, he's wide awake. Hi, Thor. Yes, who's my cute doggy? You are. Yes, you are. Looks like nothing here has really grown just yet. Um, that, that makes sense. It takes 13 days to grow, and today's just the ninth. So we have some time for everything to really grow in. Let's grab some eggs from here and plop them into our machine so that soon we'll have no eggs left in here. And we'll have all the mayonnaise made and sold. And what else do we need? We should probably... I wonder if I have more barrels, more kegs ready to take the honey there. Let me go check that, and I will check to see if I have any other trees here. Nope, that one's not ready to... I mean, there are other trees growing, but that one's not ready to harvest just yet. And what do we have over here? I do need to keep checking for product because that would be nice to sell. Oh, did that just pop up? Or was it there already? I don't think that was there already, so that just popped up. And we do have another oak tree right here. I think this oak tree that looked like that that looks like that. So, yeah, totally 100% oak tree. So we're gonna have to tap that too, and tap as many oak trees as we can because the oak resin is good, and the oak resin is what we need. Oh my gosh, look at all this grass. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that there's grass here too, even though I don't think I really would have planted it here because we are right next to a lot of growing trees so we can't get to the big trees in the middle hopefully the ones on the outside will grow soon uh, can I get to this one I cannot get to that one unless I knock that little bit down there and I don't want to do that just yet now let me get the stickies from here because I could just see quite a few stickies and I do want to get them so maybe they'll have something good for me I mean recently we've been getting the last few artifacts and that's good because we kind of sort of want to finish our collection unfortunately no iron ore there so we're SOL again with the lack of iron ore. I heard something bloop up, so I'm gonna go check what it is first before we actually get to fixing this. Now, I've been wondering if I really want to make it out of something else, but I think stone is the cheapest material that we have right now, so stone it is. Okay, I heard something. I know I heard something. What was it? Because I clearly didn't see it there. It wasn't there. Is it up here? There it is. Aha! We have maple syrup too today. Okay. Well, there we go, you guys. I guess it's time now to take care of our animals and check on production and hope that everything just gets, I don't know, it gets going so that we can have a lot of money for today. Now, before I actually change this up a little bit, I would like to go and do other, th uh, other things, like give the artifact to Gunther and give coffee to everybody, really, because I do want to get rid of some of this coffee. And what else did I need to do? I need to chop down the hardwood in the secret woods. Yes, I have quite a bit to do here. So I want to do that before I lay down the fencing because, well, I mean, I guess this is my problem because I kept doing that before and then I ended up not laying down the fencing. But the thing is that I have a lot of other things to do and it's better that I do those other things now rather than later when everything closes down. If you get my point here, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not a very good point, but it's I think it's a good point. Let's grab another egg here because we do have to put in more eggs and more eggs that is a better. Let's just, it's butter. More eggs is butter. Although you don't really make butter from, never mind. Anyway, we're going to go off into town now and later, I guess we'll go around. Go to, through town, then go down and up and around and maybe that'll, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. I, I was not just walking into that. 
Let's see if there's any forestables, forageables. There is. I don't know why I said forestables. They're forageables. There's a forageable there. We got a dandelion. And we can sell that later. So, oh, what did I want to do? I want to go to Gunther. Do I have the thing? Okay, good. I have the thing. I don't think I really do have to do many things in town. I saw Pam and give her a coffee. Don't know why I did that, but let's go in here. These ladies should be exercising. We're going to hop them up on coffee just because we are rude like that. Why you got to be so rude? Don't you know they're human too? They're... Whoa, that froze for a second. Okay. Thank you. This really makes me... Okay. I I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it too. I'm glad you like it. And I hope to see you tomorrow, Robin. Okay. Hey, Emily. What's going on? We are very, very close right now. Marnie, who else is here? I don't think there's anybody in the kitchen, is there? Nope. Nobody in the kitchen. There is Louis and Pierre over there. And we have two more coffees. So that looks like it's actually really perfect right now. So we can give these last two coffees to these last two fellas over here. I don't think I've been gifting Pierre much of anything ever. So this might be our first... Oh, no, we don't even get a heart from that. Well, I hope you like that, Pierre. Enjoy that. We're not really close friends, but uh, that's a gift from me to you. So just enjoy it. Oh, Abigail. Hey, what's going on, girl? What, what, what's going on? Hi, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. I want to take my mind off things for a while. How's your day going? It's okay. It's hectic. It's There's a lot to do. So, I mean, that's, that's basically how it's going. That's basically what's been going down. And I don't know. I guess her day is pretty lax right now, so she is taking her mind off things, but we don't have time for that at all. So let's donate through this to the museum. We can plop this over by the other one. So I wonder if there's any more like that. This dwarf scroll still. Uh, um, anyway, off to the secret woods we go now. I don't want to check the beach. I would love to check the beach for more forageables, but we really do not have the time. Okay, I've apparently Penny's a ghost. Oh, well, that's new. That's totally new, but okay, sure. I, I accept that game. I accept that. You, oh, man. Everything's been weird lately. Like, in my Sim series, everything's been going really wrong. Like, not in a way that I screwed up, but the game is just really broken. And suddenly, this Stardew Valley's lagging, and it's kind of broken, too. What? I don't know what's going on. Oh, would you look at that? There's a tree here. This is how I start losing track of what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me actually chop it down from this side so it won't fall into the water. Because I would love to collect the wood. And not have it all go into the water. There we go. I don't know how close I am right now to getting all the wood that I need for the barn. But I hope I'm getting there. Because we also need to upgrade the coop. I want the bunny wabbits. And ooh, I see a forageable. But I want the bunny wabbits. And that's going to be another, what, 500, 600 wood? So yeah, that's going to take some time too. Let's see. There's a slime right at the entrance. I will get these slimes. I will murderize everything. And then head back to the farm to get started on our... Fence building, fence making, fence setting? I don't know, call it what you want, but we're gonna actually take care of our animals this time around because I know I've kept forgetting to do it and it's like the more days I waste not doing it, the worse it gets. The, like, I know my animals don't really care. They have an outside area and that's all they're happy with. But I kind of wanted to leave that like that so that the grass would grow and the animals would have something more to eat and that's kind of sort of what happened. Like there's more grass there now so the animals can eat it right so I, I think i did good i feel like i did well oh i don't know why i hit the back side are there any slimes hidden over here because like seriously i feel like that's what keeps happening the slimes are always there's one somewhere i hear and i know you hear too slimy boy where are you you are you over here i don't know where it is i, I heard it when it was, i was over here maybe it's like stuck in a place where i can't reach well, I don't know where that slime is, but maybe I'll find it later. Or maybe I won't find it later. There's no slimes here, so that's too bad, so sad for us. Our last hope right now for the dwarf scroll is any slimes over here, but I doubt that's going to happen because this luck has just... I see nothing. I just... I see absolutely no slimes. Oh, well. Alright, I'm ready to do some, uh, I guess, fence setting. I guess I can go there. Ooh, that blocks us off. Maybe I do want a gate here, but that means that we're going to have to use some of the little wood that we have. So that's a little, huh. I'm not going to actually, oh God, I can't believe I just broke that. I'm not going to actually let the animals out right now. I'm actually going to just finish locking them in. That seems a little rude, but I don't want to forget this since I'm always forgetting that. And it's, it's, oh, it's a good time of night right now where they're just going to sleep anyway. So it doesn't matter. I do want to, God damn the crows. There's all the freaking crows. Do I do this here or here? I feel like it might... I don't know. I can actually remove these right now, so it doesn't matter where I place them. I guess I can place that there. So let's grab this. 
There we go. We always get the gate back, and I like that. I like that you get the gate back every single time. And this looks like you can't really go through the side, so I'm pretty sure the animals can't fit there either. So that works for me. Let's just get rid of these since we don't need them anymore. And I guess we'll leave it something like that. And uh, I guess I'll have to go through there every single time, which is a little bit annoying, but eventually I can knock this down. Stone is super cheap. It doesn't matter to me, and I need... Oh, oh, that might be a problem. I need something here, don't I? Well, I didn't actually pay attention to that. Now, did I? I don't want them crossing the bridge, which is why I need something there. And I could block it off completely, but that seems really counterintuitive. Now, I do want the thing here, the gate. So we're going to take that and knock these two out because we don't want that up there. Now, let me put that there. And I have to make another two gates, it looks like. So come on, Thunder, let's go get the wood that we so desperately need for another building because we're going to have to actually cut down more trees. We need to use that right now. So let's make two gates. We need one, two. Good. And we're going to keep the wood on us just in case we do end up needing more than just that that number of gates. And I don't know where we're going right now, really. It's just uh, running blindly. Of course, I would love a gate there to make it easier to get around, but not everything can work in my favor apparently i heard something ploop i will go there soon but let me get rid of all this weird ugly fencing because i really don't like how it looks really really do not like it i place it down thinking oh yeah this will work it'll, it'll look fine no it really doesn't and there's some grass there too so maybe the cows or the chickens or the goat can actually eat that now so let's just get rid of the rest of this here this will be fine okay now they can't leave from there unless i leave this open right is that how this works because if it is, then this will work. This will work out for us. Now let's place these right here. And we'll have to place this here and that there. And there we go. I Like I said, I did want to place these all along the river bank. Or that, I guess, I guess that, that is a river. And it looks like I want to get rid of that up there. So let's actually do that. Because I do, I would love a gate here. And I know that's wasting more wood. But uh, it helps, okay? It helps a lot. At least with my idea of what I want this to be. Now we're going to need another fence because I did totally use an extra one. And we're just going to place that one right here, I guess. Even though, can we actually get through that? Yeah, we can. Okay, that works for me. So it's almost 1 a.m. I want to go to sleep pretty soon. So let's just finish up dropping these. And we can finish this up, like this whole project later. Because this is just, it takes too much. It takes way too much. Let me make one more piece. And it's 1 a.m., you guys. We have to hurry up. I would love to be out here all night fixing this up for them and making it look super nice, but now's not the time. Right, Thunder? Yeah, no, I think Thunder's pretty tired, too. He wants to get some sleep, and I really would love to get some sleep. So let's sell this last mayonnaise so we can add that to our tally. And hopefully that's going to be enough money for tonight. Right, right Thor? Yeah, who's your good puppers? You going to sleep tonight? Yes. And four. Oh, okay, well, I guess not, not yet. <clears throat> We actually leveled up foraging, you guys. So we need one more level to complete foraging. And that's going to take a little while, seeing as it took a long time to get to level 9 foraging. But we get plus 1 axe proficiency, and we can now craft the rain totem. Which is... Well, it'll help us It'll help us with bringing the rainy days. So that's, that's going to be good if we can't seem to find any rainy days. Although we, I don't think we really need them, since we're probably going to get the mariner thing tomorrow. Or, well, this coming day. So let's just, uh, for the ninth of spring, you too, we made 1,000, four, wait, 14,412 gold. I swear I am good with money. I know how to speak. I can, I can tell numbers apart, but I just always mix up the 10,000 ones and the thousands. I don't know why, but yeah, we sold off the pumpkin juice and we only have a few pumpkins to go. So we're not going to be making that much more money from juices since we don't since we're running out of pumpkins really we have melons so maybe they'll sell just as well i don't know but that's a good chunk of money for today now for the 10th of spring year two i feel like today's someone's birthday is it vincent's birthday i can't remember whose birthday it is but it's someone's birthday and that much i know let's check this uh weather report for tomorrow it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow well that's wonderful isn't it Thor? isn't it, you little buddy yes you yes Fortune teller, what do you have for me today? Uh, spirits feel neutral today. Okay, I can I can deal with that. The spirits aren't going to screw me over, so maybe there will be more slimes, right? Right? Maybe. We don't know. Excuse me, Thor. Thank you, although I phased through you too, just like I phased through Penny earlier. Well, so much for that. 
So let's just, uh, oh, Mako, this recipe of mine won first place in a cooking competition. I hope you liked it. Thanks for being a friend, Jody. Fried calamari. Now, is our hearts, or are our hearts going up with Jody? We have three. So maybe that's why she sent us that recipe. Okay, okay. We've been giving out so many gifts that we are just boosting our relationships with so many people now. And that's, that's great. We don't have relationships with a lot of people, though. So we're going to have to take care of that eventually. But for right now, I like where this is going with these guys. And especially Emily. Like, we got up there really fast with her. I guess we've been giving her everything that she wants. Everything that she likes. But, well, we're going to commit today, you guys. So, we can't really romance Emily. Oh, we have strawberries. Is that right? They're ready to harvest? I'm not going crazy, right? <gasps> strawberries ready to harvest. Hey, oh, no, no, no. Do not eat. Do not eating. This is not the right time for eating strawberries. This is the time for turning more strawberries into seeds right oh we missed one and then whenever something else well do we really want to plant more strawberries i guess we can in the greenhouse although i don't know if they're 100 percent worth it now there might be something to harvest in the greenhouse oh yes there is might be i don't know why i said might be there's a billion and one things to harvest in the greenhouse holy crap all the coffee you guys i mean that's good because you know coffee has been good to us and i would love to keep it going but I'm still thinking that I overdid it. I planted way too many of these, and I can totally get rid of them and plant these strawberries in their place. Which is something I'm thinking I'm going to do, because this much coffee, nobody needs it. And I still have a billion and one beans still in my chests. So, yeah, this is a little... <laughs> if we're going get, to be getting 150 every other day or something like that, it's just way too much coffee. Nobody needs that much coffee. Unless, you know, you're addicted to it, or... You really just can't find any way to throw those strawberries? <gasps> There's more strawberries here. What? Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't mind these strawberries at all. I can sort of love strawberries, so that's good to me. Anyway, let's get the rest of production done for the day, and then we'll head off to the old mariner to see if he's actually there this time, and he'll let us buy the mermaid pendant. Production is 110% done right now, and I think it's time that we head off to find the old mariner first. Before we go off to the secret woods and do anything else, I do have a few more eggs to toss into the mayonnaise machines, and I will do that eventually, but for now, well, we're not going to bother with that. I think I've given all gifts that I could to Pam, so I'm not going to bother with that either. I do want to give the gifts to maybe people we haven't seen in a little while, or people we don't have much of a relationship with. But I can't recall who that is, and I don't really want to check. I just want to get my luck there. Carps, huh? I get to keep the carp. I'll accept it, but I doubt it's going to happen because I have a lot to do, Willie. And uh, that does not involve fishing for carp, of all things. We can go back into the sewers to do that because, boy, were we catching carp there. But uh, we actually don't need to do that for now. We don't want to do that for now. We have different things to do. Hey, look who's here. It's my buddy, my pal, the old mariner. Hey, dude, what's up? Old mariner. Hey, I see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your intended and they'll know exactly what you mean. Let's buy that since we have the money and why not? So, I guess now we have to find Shane, huh? Since he is the one who we can marry now. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know when the wedding will happen. I know he'll like run off to go plan the wedding and I get no say in playing the wedding apparently since I'm the newbie here. Even though I would love to actually be the one to plan the wedding and make it look a little, I don't know, happen in the winter or something like that, but that's just not a thing. Let's get that there. Oh, mixed seeds. Of course, of course. It's okay. I'll save them all for fall. That's what I'm doing. And I guess now we just have to... Was someone coming down there or something? I don't know what was going on there. I guess since we have to wait a little bit for Sheen to actually be out of work, he gets out at 5-ish. I'm going to come down here and... Yep. I don't actually have a fishing rod. Well, too bad, so sad for me. I swear I had a fishing rod, but I guess I deposited it. I was keeping it around so I can actually use it eventually, but that just didn't happen. So, whoopsie. I just... I don't know why. I, that just slipped my mind. But let's go meet Shane. I know he gets off at 5. Yep. Hey, more stickies. Please be good. Please be good. A uh, spoon. We already have that. We've had that like 50,000 times, so we have no use for that anymore. Oh, Shane, hi. Um, <coughs> Hey, wait, 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 dude. Um, um, here you go. <gasps> He's like, he, oh, oh, he accepts this. Oh my god, he accepts. Okay, um, I'll set everything, uh, I'll set everything up. We have the ceremony in three, three days? On the 13th? Really? 
that's like the most unlucky day ever of anything. Part of me of wondering if this isn't also an elaborate prank. Uh, what? Our relationship? I can't believe you'd actually want to marry someone like me. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make you a better person. Here, have some coffee. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Just, you can be a better person. Stop judging yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. Seriously, Shane. You are not a bad person at all. Well, let's go to the secret woods now since I have, I can't see anybody here. Obviously, there's nobody around to... Oh, Alex. Well, I guess he's outside caring for the dog. I'm glad you like it. Well, is, I guess nobody else is here. So let's go into the pub and see who we can give this to. I see Sam over there and we have like zero relationship with Sam. Oh, and Sebastian. So we'll give it to one to each of them. Yeah, no hearts there. I know we have some relationship with Sebastian, but I would like to improve that too. Why not, right? Why not? And uh, we could have gone to Robin's today to get the barn, but we unfortunately just did not. Oh, sorry, Pam. We didn't have enough wood. I tried after using the wood on the fences and just there weren't enough trees I could reach on my farm, unfortunately. So that's that's the sad fact of today, <laughs> really. So we're going to keep collecting things and go to the secret woods, get the wood that we need from there. And I guess we can head back then to our farm and finish up the fencing that we started the other day. Or we can go around and chop down some trees, apparently. I still can't believe we're going to have a spring wedding. A spring wedding. I mean, I guess to other people, that sounds amazing. That sounds cool. That sounds romantic. But to me, it just sounds humid and gross. Just very sticky and not fun. But I don't know what the weather is like here. I've suggested what it might be like. Like where Stardew Valley falls upon on like the map of the world. Unless it happens in an alternate plane or an alternate universe or something like that, then... Well, my guesses were all wrong, but I think it falls in a place where it's, uh, the summers are pretty humid, and they're, well, summers and springs are pretty humid, and they're not really the friendliest places to be outside during, well, the season now and the next season coming up. So we're just gonna hopefully have it inside, right, Shane? Or an inside wedding? Nobody wants to be outside, dude. Like, seriously. Right now we have 135 hardwood. We are getting there. We needed what? What was it? 150 hardwood to get the house upgrade. So we're actually really close. And we have all of the regular wood that we need now for upgrading our barn. But of course we want to do more than just upgrade the barn. And it's going to take some time. So time is money. Money is time. I know what that's like. But we're going to have to wait on that because we just don't have it. Can't get. Can't do anything around it really. Excuse me, Thor. I need to get into the fridge. And there's really nothing else I can cook right now, huh? Yeah, no, I've made everything. And still we need a lot of uh, artichoke. And a lot of different things. Milk, sugar, things like that. I mean, I do have milk, sorry. Wheat, sugar, just to make these things. Like, I can add pumpkin here and suddenly, ta-da! With the wheat and the sugar, I have pumpkin pie. And I, of course I want to make that. Look, look how much energy and health it gives you. And I wonder how much it's worth, really, because pumpkins are worth a lot. Although I... I think I've used most of my pumpkin, so maybe that's not going to happen. Ooh, ah, oh, dang it. I wish I would have saved the winter root because look at this. We can make a roots platter with all the building cave carries that we have and winter roots. So I guess we're going to have to save the next year's winter roots. Or when we go to the mines we and we get winter roots from killing is the little furry things, the little black furry things. I don't know what to call them. I forgot their names. But those things, we can just... Is this tree? This tree is new. Totally new. Okay, I don't want you. I want this tree, like, down. I don't really need it on my farm right now. Look at all the butterflies floating away. Oh, we do butterflies. I don't really care for butterflies either. They kind of freak me out. I know when I was a kid, I went to, like, a butterfly sanctuary, and I liked it. But then that... How often does coffee spring up? Is it, like, a twice-a-day thing? Because uh, I didn't think we'd have coffee so soon. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to harvest it and add some more. Because that's sketching me out just a little bit. That's way too often. I do want to throw down these fences since we have another, what, hour and a half-ish? Really, we have less time than that, don't we? So let's actually throw down some more stone fences here. I know there's going to be like more stuff that we have to repair. But that's fine. That's okay. Shane is going to be living on the farm and he'll take care of that whenever he moves in. So I am okay with that. And I'm okay with not being able to see if there's like grass here or anything like that. And this is a very weird spot here. So that's like that. And ta-da. Okay, that's that's it for there. I'm just going to leave the grass just like that there. Now I know I'm going to have to harvest just a little bit of grass here to make this work. 
Man, why is this so ridgy? Like, seriously, what is that? Actually, I can place this on the grass, can't I? Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Doesn't connect, though, because there's grass there. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm sorry, grass. Okay, we need three pieces? Two pieces? I think it's two. Let's take a look at that. One here and one right there. And there's grass in the way, of course. Let's see if we can just get that. Apparently now we have to get that one, too. Well, we made this now, and this is what it looks like. I am kind of okay with it. It looks okay. And we do have some grass here for the animals to enjoy. Obviously, we didn't let them out today because it was raining. And they don't like the rain. But we will be letting them out on every other day that's not raining. And, okay, I was waiting for these to finish. And they did. So, ta-da! We also have some more mayonnaise to sell. I don't think we've made much money today, but... Well, anything is something to me. Well, there we go. Let's go inside and... Uh, Thorne, did we talk to you today? We probably did. Let's get... Oh, wait, I didn't sell that. What the heck? Wait, what did I sell? What did I sell there? Oh, it was the regular... Uh, sorry, the Gold Star mayonnaise. So we had some regular mayonnaise just sitting about there. Those don't go in there. Also, I don't think that goes in there. These two chests are just big messes, so I'm going to have to take care of these pretty soon because I have, like, the tree seeds there and other tree seeds over there, and it just makes zero sense. Okay, that looks better. That looks a lot better, but I do have clay inside, so I'll take that with me. And I actually think I have tree seeds inside, too, which I should probably bring out. Right? Right. Okay. We'll do that later, but for now, let's just come in here. Oh, Thor was awake for a second. Sorry, Thor. Eesh. Oh, and the furnaces are almost done. They're creating. So go to sleep for the night. I mean, there's nothing else to do. We only have 20 minutes left, so yeah. Let's do that. And for the 10th of spring, year two, we have made 5,124 gold. So basically, we made back the money that we spent on the mermaid's pendant. Once again, I noticed this, because I never ever noticed anything about the background any other day for some reason. But yeah, those were another two... Very hectic days, very busy days, because we've just had a very busy beginning of spring. And it's actually almost the, the middle of the month, so wow, we've had just a very busy month. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Stardew Valley. If you'd like to hit that like button to show your support and subscribe, because I have new Stardew Valley videos every single day. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.